Last thing Morgan said to me was our family lingo uh, of little um, shortness of I love you, two, four, one. I love you too much, forever, and once more than forever. And she said as she was walking out the door, two, four, one, mama. Those were her last words to me. Two, four, one. Joining me now, Jill Harrington, founder of Help Save the Next Girl. And Jill, it's so good to have you with us. Thank you for your time. Jill. I, I appreciate being here. Thank you, Ryan. Yes. You know, it's been almost four years since your daughter's death. Tell us this. What do you miss most about Morgan? What do you think of when you think of Morgan at this point? You know, she, it, it's pervasive. Um, you know, sometimes you walk around shaking your head saying, God, it's such a darn shame. How could it be? Um, you know, you catch a whiff of the laundry soap and you remember trying to teach her how to do laundry before she went away to college. Um, uh, it, sh your children are woven so tightly into the fabric of your life uh, and they remain so even um, if they are taken away from you. Um, that she's all over the house. I, I think about her all the time. You know, she she's part of the rhythm of the blood coursing in my veins. You, you I, I can't explain how everywhere it is for me. I, it's I still, understand. even four years out, it's not as painful, but it's still there everywhere. I can understand. She's a part of who you are. It's as if a part of you is missing. And your daughter was missing 101 days. I've heard you say before that the missing period can be the hardest part. But now you're doing something incredible. You've been in contact with Alexis Murphy's mom, Laura. So right. what do you say to Laura, whose child now has been missing for 60 days? You know, I, I try and give her whatever strength and compassion and love and support and caring that I can because I look at her and I recognize that look on her face, you know, just shattered. You know, just dumbfounded. The family is stunned. How could this be? You know, the, she's supposed to be picking out a prom dress now or thinking about homecoming or should she put her hair in an updo or not? That's what their daughter should be debating and the, and the family considering at their dinner table, not, you know, how can we find our girl and pull her back in somehow? from um, danger and from what evil has done to her. Now, Jill, stay with us because next we're going to be joined by a special guest who I know shares your pain and your drive to help other parents of missing kids. We're back with my guest, Jill Harrington, who is doing such an extraordinary thing. Her daughter went missing, and now she's helping another parent with a missing child. And now we're joined by, on the phone, Mark Class, founder of the Class Kids Foundation, his daughter, Polly Class, was murdered 20 years ago. And, Mark, you know, you've made it your life's mission to help parents with missing children. What would you like to say to Jill about her efforts to help Laura Murphy find Alexis? Well, Ryan, thank you for having me on your program. And, Jill, you know, Jill and I know each other. We spent a few days together about three years ago in Wilmington, North Carolina, and we talked a lot about our daughters during that time. And I think that just like... Jill and Laura Murphy have a common bond. So do Jill and I have a common bond. And that's that common bond of loss and the realization that by helping other people, we can give meaning to our own daughter's deaths, but also uh, also create our own our own therapy as, as we move through life, knowing that we can take those lessons and pay them forward and hopefully save another child. And Jill, I think you're doing such a beautiful job with Mrs. Murphy. I mean, I watched the two of you together, and you're so protective of her. And I would just recommend that you just don't stop what you're doing. Help her and as many others as you can, and the world will be a better place for it. Jill, what would you say to Mark? Uh, thank you for that, Mark. And uh, we intend to do just that. We really do. Mm -hmm. And we are. You and I have a bond, too. You know, we're part of a small club. And people ask, you know, you're 20 years out, I'm four years out. Well, do you get over it? No. It's like, it's like an amputation or a severing. You know, if, if someone cuts off your arm, every day you know you have no arm. You, maybe you get really good at writing with your feet, 
you accommodate to the loss, but you never get over it and you never forget it, not one day, not one minute. It's always there, that missing piece. Jill, I think it's incredible that you say that it, because people think about the idea of closure. That never happens in a case like this, but you talk about accommodating the loss. So, Mark, let me ask you, when you talk about the idea of loss, I'm sure for Alexis Murphy, who may be watching right now, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Laura Murphy, who may be watching right now, there's always the fear of what may happen here. What do you say to her at this point? Well, let's hope that Alexis is watching as well. <laughs> I mean, really, that would be a, a best-case scenario. But I understand where Laura is coming from. I mean, she's looking at somebody who has experienced what she's experiencing, just as I did back 20 years ago. And she's probably holding on to Jill like a lifeline. And I would suggest to her several things. Laura, you want to continue working with Jill because she's act absolutely a woman of great wisdom and great knowledge and is doing everything that she can for you. But more importantly for yourself, never give up hope on your daughter. Continue to look for her. Continue to turn over every stone and look under every rock and do whatever you can to bring her back. Because the reality is, is that when you give up hope, then hope ceases to exist. What will happen is the reporters will go away, which means that people will stop caring, which means that ultimately law enforcement will um, stop investigating the case, which means that ultimately you may find yourself in that limbo of the unknown. Jill Harrington, Mark Klaas, thank you so much. And let me just say to both of you, thank you so much for helping others with missing children, because without you in people's lives, I'm sure it would be much harder to draw attention to their cases and get the help they need. Thank you so much, both of you, for your efforts. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan.